Hey, it's me. I knew uh, you just probably got home right about now from work, so I thought maybe I'd come on over and see you. And besides, you've been kind of quiet today. Usually you, you know, talk to me on your lunch break, so I just, you know, wanted to make sure everything was all good. Uh Uh-huh. Okay, 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 what's going on? You just said nothing, and that usually means that there's something. Mm-hmm. No, no, there's something. Are you Are you okay? Was today okay? You sound a bit off. <laughs> yes, you do. I know how you sound. I know how you... Are you sick? Oh my gosh, you're sick. Why didn't you tell me? Yes, you are. I can hear it in your voice. You are most certainly sick. (gasps) Did you go to work today when you were sick? No, you should be at... Oh, 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 I'm coming over. Oh, oh, I most certainly am. You cannot be left alone to take care of yourself, especially if you went to work today when you should be resting. (laughs) Uh, uh, No, I'm coming over. I have a spare key. You can't stop me. I love you. I'll see you in ten. Open the door. (laughs) I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not going to get sick. Open the door. Don't worry about me. Hi. Um, Oh my gosh, look at you. What you look like you're about to die. Here, let me in. Oh, you're lucky. I mean, honey, you look horrible. Yes, you do. You look between death and exhaustion at this point. Here, come come on, come on, let's get you to the couch. (sighs) Have you made yourself anything today? Have you made soup, tea, specifically tea? I know you make fun of me from all the tea I drink, but it really does help. (laughs) You made what for yourself? No, no, that's not going to help you. What am I going to do with you? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is you're going to lay down. Come on. There you go. And, uh, let me get you a blanket for one. No, no, it's no trouble at all. Hey, hey, no arguing with the girlfriend, okay? (laughs) You are going to lay right here and I'm going to make you something. Yes, yes. And no more working. I don't know. I knew you you were probably doing something while I was on my way here. I know how you are. You're a busy bee, always doing something. But not today. Today, you're going to rest. And I'm going to make sure of it. (laughs) Why didn't you tell me sooner? I mean, you look... You look... (laughs) I don't even know what. I'm supposed to be here for you, you know. I know, I know, you know, you didn't want me to be, you know, get exposed to you because you're sick, but that's what we do, right? We take care of each other. I know we're not married yet, but, you know, in sickness and in health, and I'm pretty sure this is in sickness. (laughs) You lay right there, and I'm going to make you some tea. Oh, yeah, you're going to be up to your ears in tea today. Don't worry, I know all the good blends. (laughs) I stored them in your cabinet. (laughs) Well, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm here very often, so I gotta have my tea stash, eh? Do you like honey in yours or no? Okay, okay. You know, I'm really glad we invested in this kettle for you. Kettle water just always tastes better. All right, so I have the water on, so we kind of have to wait for that, but what kind of soup you in for, hmm? There's chicken noodle, there's, you know, always chicken rice soup, or... There's the good old-fashioned, well, 
I wouldn't recommend vegetable soup, you know, right now. It's just a little too many spices or too bland. I think chicken noodle soup will be good for you. I know it's so cliche. It's something that's so whatever, but I think it's the truth. Something, well, actually, how's your stomach? Is your stomach feeling okay? You queasy at all? Otherwise, you know, we can always do the usual um, brat formula. <laughs> Bananas, rice, apples, and toast. All right, well, good. I'm happy your stomach's feeling okay. I'll warm you up some soup then. I'd make it myself, but I kind of rushed over here and I didn't bring any supplies. <laughs> you hungry right now for some soup? Did you eat dinner like you're supposed to? <laughs> That's what I thought. All right, I'll go warm you up a bowl of soup and you just lay here and I'll be right back. Okay, careful the bowl's hot, hence the oven mitts. <laughs> we'll just bring this little side table over here, and we'll set it down. You know, eat it as at your own pace, no rush. <sighs> so, what do you want to watch? What are you in the mood for? Well, we got Netflix up, so we can always watch something. I feel like we've watched everything at this point, and all that's left is some random low-budget movies that really aren't any good on there anymore, but we can always rewatch something. How about something funny? There's Arrested Development. <laughs> that's always a good show to watch, to get a laugh out of you. Granted, I mean, is laughing hurt? does laughing hurt you? I don't want to like to make you laugh so much and your chest starts to hurt. <laughs> okay, we'll watch that then. Anything to get you in a better mood. <laughs> you know what? How about... Actually, how's your head? Well, usually when I get sick, I get some pretty nasty headaches, so... Yeah, yeah, let me rub your head. Well, believe me, I've, I have magic hands. Even though I get my head rubbed a lot, I also rubbed a lot of heads. <laughs> oh, believe me, I know how to get take a headache away. You gotta learn a few things over the years, especially when you experience a lot of them. So, what'll it be? You wanna lay down and I kinda sit over the edge of the couch and rub your head? Or do you want to sit on the floor between my legs and I'll rub it that way? All right, that sounds good. Besides, if you sit on the floor, it'll also give me better access to your neck, which I am sure is a nuts. <laughs> All right, come on. Do you need help getting up? Or are you okay? All right. Yeah, yeah, no, keep the blanket. Keep the blanket. I want you all bundled up. There you go. All right. Now, where does it hurt? Your temples? Your jaw? Everywhere? <laughs> all right, all right. Now, you just sit there and relax. And enjoy your soup <laughs> while I rub your head. Let me know if I push too hard. I tend to do that sometimes. <laughs> How does that feel? <laughs> All good. Yeah, I think I think you'll feel much better if uh, the muscles in your head and neck aren't screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, stop it. You don't have to feel sorry about anything. I'm happy to be able to take care of you. I think it's a privilege to take care of someone, right? They trust you enough to leave you to literally, you know, help them get better. <laughs> I think there's a lot of trust in that. And I'm happy you trust me with you. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I really do wish you weren't sick. Because I don't like seeing you this miserable. <laughs> but, since you are sick, I'm going to be right here. I know what it feels like to be ungodly sick, <laughs> and it's no fun. And it really does do all the difference in the world to have someone there to take care of you. Being sick and alone is one of the worst things. I'd give you a kiss right now, but I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> We have two pick sick people in the house. Well, then, <laughs> oh, there's no helping us. Mm. Oh, the kettle's off. I'll be right back. Let me get your tea. Here it is. C careful, careful, careful. It's hot, but it should help those sinuses of yours. And, well, you know, tea's just great in general. I'll take that. There. <laughs> well, alrighty. How about we watch episode... Oh, I don't know, you pick. I don't mind. And after all, today's all about you and making you feel better. So pick whichever one tickles your fancy. <laughs> mm. Oh, you're feeling better already. <laughs> well, I'm happy I've been able to help. But don't think I'm going to be stopping soon. You still have a long way to go before you're better. Don't worry. I'll be right here. I'm always right here. <laughs>